everyone. Oh. I've actually got a fun meal. Oh. What's it say? What's it say? Oh, I can't wait to, can't wait to read it. <laughs> Look at this shape. I am so excited. Can you believe it? Fun meal. Actual fun meal. Okay. <laughs> this is what it says. It says, Dear AJ, me, um, you are the best presenter ever. <laughs> I want to be just like you. You wear the best clothes, and I'm so hot, and I love it when you flick your room. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Thank lovely, you. Lovely. Um, I nearly cried when I found out you were the new presenter. You should present the main show. Lots of good. E. Willis from Birmingham. Oh. Age, age, age. Oh, I'm going to keep that. Age. What? It's fake, it's from me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get some real ones by the end. <laughs> Whoa, that went down like a lick. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we've assembled an all star lineup for tonight's show. First up, Best she's dress. the ex Emmerdale girl. <laughs> Good well dress, <laughs> if I say so myself. Um, who's making her BB Box debut? It's the beautiful Kelsey Beth Crossley. Yeah. 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 Nice as well. Uh, now <laughs> our next guest is a Big Brother legend. Who? 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 Who is she? <laughs> what do you mean? Who is she? It's Nikki. It's Nikki. Who is she? Nikki. Big Brother Seven. Nikki. Who is she? Age? It's Nikki Graham! <laughs> Our final guest is a comedian who spent the past decade making people laugh with her brave, confessional style. She's South East London's finest. It's Meryl O'Rourke! Yes, Meryl! <laughs> Well, listen, it was an explosive show tonight. It was like watching the final episode of Family Affairs all over again in 2005. <laughs> um, so, to confirm, the five housemates family affairs up for eviction this week are Charlie, Woo! Dexter, Woo! Hazel, Woo! Jack and Joe, Woo! and Sophie. Yeah! There you go. Uh, do you want to see what happened after it kicked off after Noms Bums tonight? Yeah! Take a look at this. I'm being perceived as the biggest fucking man eater, fucking yeah. womanizer, bitch, or man and eyes, or whatever the fuck it's called. And that's all everybody commented on that I'm after men, that I'm just men, that I'm fucking this, that, and the other. Your friend was fucking <laughs> blunt as a. I told you, I was like. Blunt as a. <laughs> not impressed. Not fucking impressed. Nothing against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Nasty, because we are best friends in the house and I've been very good to you, you've been very good to me. The daily thing is completely irrelevant to Charlie, I have an effect to Charlie. Mm. Everything else is personal to everybody else. If she'd said, Hazel's backstabbing you, she's actually a bitch behind your back, fair enough. But don't come out and fucking lay me out with shit that isn't even relevant to Charlie, like. Whoa. Makes me look like a fucking knob. It makes you wonder what they show and then... And this like, is going you back do how many weeks? weeks? How many weeks is this going back? Completely irrelevant. This is what I mean. They, those pre-recorded, 100% pre-recorded. No, because how would they know who to choose? That then they'd so have a whole weird. house to choose from. Yeah, they probably got them to say everyone and then just put no, in no, the no, right ones. No, 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 because they, they were, they're, they're quite relevant, I think. No, because Sam's mum... Sophie only said last week that we didn't connect in her nomination. Yeah, but Sam's mum mentioned something that happened two weeks ago and my mum mentioned something that happened a week ago, so I'm, I'm well, telling if, you... Well, if they were all pre-recorded, then Big Brother have chosen who's nominated this week. That fucking bitch of her fucking... I was saying that, and just to confirm, they weren't pre recorded, they were yesterday, and that were their legit nominations, guys. <laughs> legit. Uh, so let's get stuck in. Are the right people up? Yes. yes. This Talk week, Hazel has to go. Right. Tell me why. Yes. Because every, um, she always goes from one guy to another. She's sly, she's fake. Get her out. Gina to win. Yes. Well, listen, listen, Sam, Sam and Gina, Sam and Gina aren't up this week. Is anyone upset? Did anyone Sam want to see them? Sam should be up. He's so boring. He's so boring.
Cameron, he's a nice yeah. guy, but who cares? He shouldn't win. You know, he hasn't really gone on a journey like everyone else. Yeah. The USA, all the way to see you, Rylan. Oh! Down, packed out. Um, hey, so going from guy to guy, there was only one guy, and he went ages ago. Anyway, Mayo, hello from the hey. Dirty South, like me. I live in South East as well. I'm Southwest actually, but oh, oh right. yeah, we got that long. Yeah, you have to fight with some chains later. Bit more classy than our AJ. <laughs> 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 Thanks. Um, are you pleased with who's up? Yes, because Dexter might cry again, and I love it when Dexter cries. Oh, he's brilliant. I don't get. It? He's meant to be a sex maniac, but he cries when he's happy. How does that work? If you went down on him, you'd have to wear a shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> How does it work? Wow. Does he, does he like? Does he take girls from behind to pretend it's sex noises? I, like, I don't know what he does. What but you have given me some serious uh, visions that I need to erase from my mind immediately. <laughs> Kelsey, hello, welcome. Uh, did you enjoy uh, watching the Friends and Families nominee? I did, purely to see Hazel's face. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it was so good because she's been such a bitch to everyone. Really? And now suddenly she's like... She's, she's just, you can see that she's really hurt by that. Well, and it's, it is like a bit of a taste for own medicine, I think. Well, do you know what? It is very insightful. Obviously, they actually represent the viewer's um, voice, uh, so to speak. So, very insightful. Nikki! Thank Hello. You Everybody loves Nikki. Um, were you surprised by any of their reactions? I was, well, I was really surprised at Hazel. I've never seen someone swear as much as we just <laughs> did. You should come around my house. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that come from? I, I don't know. I thought she was so nice and innocent. Oh, no, she's got a potty mouth on her. Yeah. And she says F, F this, F that. F I mean, this. I don't even swear that much. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, listen, how do you think this is going to affect the house now? Yeah, awkward. Oh, hashtag yeah. awkward. awkward. We've got hashtag awkward at the front. Yeah, and, um, yeah, it's going to be so awkward. I mean, the people that, who thought they were going to be friends, or who are friends, yeah. they're going to just question everything now. And it's... Mm. They friends go away, and family yeah. is very influential. Yeah. Very influential. It really is. And once again, Gina's not up for eviction. Yeah. Yeah. So how has she managed to turn this around since the first few weeks? Well, I just think when she first went in, I mean, it's hard to, to get to know people anyway when you first meet them and for yeah. them to really see what you're like and you could be putting on an act and stuff. And I think everyone's just realised that she's not and she is just that. But then again, they also know how popular she is and... If, yeah. if she's going to be up for a nomination, then I don't think it would make any difference anyway, because no one's really going to put her out. Do you not think so? I don't think so. You never know. You never know. Um, Hazel received the most uh, nominations from friends and family, and they certainly did not hold back. Um, Nikki, you know, do you think that this has come, to a shock, come as a shock to her? I think so, because since the whole thing that happened with um, Daly, she, she thinks she's quite popular mm. you know she went back into the house and she seems to have sort of I don't know I think she's just become a bit more confident well, in she, her has, I mean, she was saved uh, by the public this very weekend actually well last weekend just gone and um, I think that was a massive confidence boost for her yeah um, so that must have been a little kick in the teeth for her let's not yes. bring up the teeth let's not bring up the teeth <laughs> <laughs> Um, Charlie was nominated because they thought that she was sly and playing the house and wasn't genuine at all. Uh, so, Kelsey, do you think any of that rings true? I don't like Charlie. No? I really don't. No, I why not? Do you think she's sly? I think she's really moody. And right. you very rarely see her happy. And she's just moaning about something or there's a problem. And if there's not a problem, she's creating a problem. Right. <laughs> so I just don't quite get it with her. I don't... I'm do you agree, okay. Mabel? Yeah, I think Charlie, to me, she seems very prudish. And, and like, she has a problem with men that talk about sex, men that have had sex, men that have flirted. <laughs> I think she'd find my baby son too experienced for her, you know? She's like... <laughs> <laughs> She's got the claws oh, yeah. for you. Uh, the twins find themselves up for a third time. Uh, so, Mevel, what are they doing wrong in yeah, the house? They're very bossy, aren't they? they? They tell the women when they're allowed to cry and they tell the women when they're allowed to be angry. It must be like living with your ovaries. 
Louise. It's just <laughs> all the time, they're just there in charge of all the moods and, and, and I think people just want to be left to do what they want and not be, uh, well, they are being watched by us, but not be watched in the house. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, well, thank you. What a strong chat to begin with. Now, do you want to see what's happening in the house right now? No! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smiling, it's compulsory to say yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> well, take a look at this. Either I'm far more manipulative and sly than I even ever consider myself. Number two, that they're showing me say something like, "Oh, did you did you work in a that mm. thing?" and then not explain me the after situation with me upstairs and me talking to you and just me saying that and then clipping sorry, and all the clangers I've dropped and then me not you them not understanding where that place comes from. Maybe he's just thinking about my reputation. Yeah, or maybe he's protected, maybe he's pissed off that I said those things and he's like, look, you know what, don't just think you can but say... Wait, what else did he say, though? What else Manip did he say? Um, did, was Charlie, he the one that used the word manipulative? Manipulative. Whoa. No, 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 he said sly. She's sly. Wow. Yeah. She okay. said she's sly. Um, and she said things to Gina that she thinks she just says sorry and thinks that she can get away. She, with she that. said things, and then all she's just, all she said is sorry and thinks she can get away out of it and thinks that's oh. okay. Oh, kick it off, love F and F nomination. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I think she's probably worrying she hasn't got her mother there now to tell her where she's going wrong and everything, which was too much before anyway. So now <laughs> she's now finding that she's got to talk to Gina to ask her where she's gone wrong because she doesn't have any self... Um, she doesn't have any sort of, like, awareness of her own actions. Ooh, we get you a bit on the side. <laughs> <laughs> on your side. <laughs> what do you lot think? Who's, who's going to go, do you reckon, this weekend? Twins. Twins. I wasn't asking you. No, I don't think it'll be the twins. I think it's out of Hazel yeah. and Charlie. Yeah. 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 I'm hoping oh, humpy, Charlie. miserable Sophie, because I'm just sick of her just moaning oh, all yes. the time. Right. <laughs> 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 well, that's what this lot think, but what about you at home? Over the last couple of days, we've run the usual online poll to see who you would have nominated if you had the chance. Now, amazingly, a few of you actually bothered to take part. <laughs> well done, and thank you. And the results are in. Rylan, who did they choose? My, can I get a lighting change and tension bed police? <laughs> Love this. Uh, listen, the people have spoken, and in no particular order, you at home would like to see Dexter, Hazel, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Jack and Joe, yeah. and Sophie up yeah. for eviction, which means you got it right! Yeah. What is this dance all about? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Sorry to poop uh, the party. So, um, the viewing public agreed, eh? How very interesting. Well, still to come, I'll be having my weekly catch up with Dr. Pam Spear, who'll be analysing the housemates' latest goings on. Plus, Ryland will be in the form room taking your calls. But come Friday, another housemate will be sent kicking and screaming out of Britain's most famous house. Who goes? You yeah. yeah. Like the Ashes, you can think of us as England to the main shows Australia. Yeah, hitting them every night. Six! Bam! Right in there. I don't know anything about cricket. How's that? <laughs> how's that? We know nothing about cricket. I don't I know, know why they write us How's that? Like That's this. when they catch. Cricket. The ball. Um, listen, forget about <laughs> cricket. I wonder how our BB residents are getting on after their friends and family gave the nominations a little twist this week. Let's have a look. I love this jealousy thing that I'm jealous of Gina. <laughs> you don't like me because... I spent £18,000 on a rent, and that's why... That's not a jealousy thing, that's more that I don't agree with excessive spending in a world that we live in where, yeah, but fair but enough, if you have your whatever, that's just yeah, my but personal you, opinion, but, you but didn't say jealousy anything to else a degree to is like, oh, I want to look like her, I want hair like her, I no, want this no, no, like no, it her, I want that like her. No, 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 it could be jealousy in any, anything. Okay, like, well, if someone's not agreeing with someone's, alcohol something, not agreeing and with then someone, you're jealous how of how someone oh, spends it. money or is excessive in life is completely different in my eyes. That's why I said it when I was, when we did that task the other day, and then I told you why I said it. Yeah. Do you got what I'm saying? Yeah. But obviously my boyfriend, he's seen things and then it's his opinion, so it's his opinion at the end of the day. And yeah. mine, I, I told you. Them aren't our opinions. I'm just so happy your friend Sophie and in the house. I'm so, so sorry to say. <laughs> Likewise. But we... Oh! 
so exciting. Hazel looks vexed. Um, now, joining me on the sofa right now is behavioural expert, Dr Pam Spear. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, I just want to get straight into it. Um, what's been revealed about tonight's nominations by friends and family? Well, let me tell you, when, one thing the housemates crave is a little bit of control when they either go in the diary room for old school nominations mm. and they can kind of settle old scores, or even face to face, they love that control they have. It was snatched right out of their hands tonight with friends and family doing it, and we had some body language mayhem. We had <laughs> Hazel, awesome, Hazel literally baring her teeth, pretending to smile, but furious about some of the nominations she got. We had Charlie completely like doing a, a whole face cradle, where literally her mouth was going to drop to the floor. She was so embarrassed about the nominations. I know, it was almost like she did the nominations herself. Exactly, she was like taking control of something that was out of her control. And we had Dexter, at one point he literally hid behind his hands and was like just gutted that so many people had nominated him. So Who, who reacted the worst, do you think? Hazel, definitely. Yeah. Literally that teeth bone, she could not hide. She just was absolutely stunned by what some of the friends and family were saying about her. And I can't wait to see it tomorrow night because as we saw in the exclusive, oh, it's gonna roll she on. has got a lot to say about Charlie's friend in particular. Um, let's move on from that and talk about uh, the fan mail, the fake fan mail. Amazing what did task. that reveal about the housemates? I thought that was a brilliant. Perfect task for revealing the trait of need for approval. Mm. And this is a crucial psychological trait, how much approval you need and of course, who do you think rated the most highly when we looked at, at what was happening? Of course, it was Dexter. First, he was absolutely, like, just kind of welling up. He went <sighs> in the diary room, did that whole speech. For him, it was like that approval he's been seeking. It was there for him, and he was going to enjoy every moment. He was absolutely in love with, with Marianne. The, oh, Marianne, like, yeah, his stalker. He's got Gina a social like duty a stalker. all of a sudden. <laughs> It was brilliant. And he didn't even want to speak to Gina when he found out. It was like, I can't even, I yeah. can't even speak to you. Yeah. yeah. It was that embarrassed. Busted. Okay. So now we are going to delve a little deeper into our nominees' minds. So before they entered the house, you actually set them a little task, didn't you? I um, did. I set them a task. On the screen, we have eight items. Talk to us about that. Okay, if you get a sentence, say you read a page, it says a man put on his shoes and went out the door. Yeah. You think just shoes. But when you're given objects without any explanation and you're asked to link them, we can get into sort of deeper emotional connections because they become symbolic. So the shoe means going on a journey, okay. child's doll, childhood, mobile is about communication, jewelry is about wealth, dog lead is about control, and plant is about growth, Coffee mug is about comfort and sort of small pleasures, and the pencils are about creativity. So we had, I asked each housemate should link up four pairs from these eight items. That's so interesting. Okay then, so let's focus on, you know, more of the revealing pairings uh, okay. from the nominees. So first up, let's talk about Dexter. Yeah. What does his pairing say? Well, let me tell you, the journey and the control. We all know how he feels his journey has been about control, how other people see him. Okay. And then we get the sort of growth of the plant and the comfort of the mug, how he, he would get comfort if he could grow. In a, and he, all he keeps saying in the house is, I want to change as a person, I want to show my good side, I want people to like me. I'm surprised there's no jewellery on Dexter's. No, you see, this is the thing. Well, no, she a man to begin with. Well, these were his two Where sort of it? first pairs. They're, they're there was jewelry on another pair, but we don't have time to go through all his pairings. So. Okay, then. Let's talk about Charlie. Okay, what's interesting about Charlie is she had some similar pairings to Dexter. She right. had the journey, but also a sense of control on her journey. She entered the house with her mother. We know Jackie is a fabulously powerful woman. Yes. And I think that maybe she entered the house feeling under Jackie's shadow, because these were done just before they went in. Okay. Her next pair, again, is about kind of comfort and pleasure, the mug and communication, how much she would love to connect more with people. In last night's show, she was telling Hazel how much the people who mean a lot to her. How much she really wishes she wouldn't have question marks and she'd like better communication. So she almost predicted what happened to her in the house with, with her relationship. And this is right before they went in. Exactly. Not this is during. Yeah. How ironic! It's like ringing true. Um, 
the twins, they are technically one housemate, but yeah. they've come up with different parents, haven't they? Well, the thing is, they didn't choose any of their pairings the same. You would expect twins might have had some of the pairings. They didn't. Okay, so here, good job. Okay, well, first we've got, with him, we've got, we're going to choose just one since we don't have a lot of time. We're going to choose the dog lead, which is about control, and the doll, which often refers to your inner child. Okay. So I'm guessing that perhaps ever since even childhood, that symbolizes for him the fact that maybe he'd like to not just be a twin, but be seen for himself as he is. And okay. we've now seen in house how very different they are. Really. Yeah. Just because they're twins, they are completely different people. Oh, always striving to be individual. Exactly. God help triplets then. <laughs> uh, what about Jack? Well, then when we get on to his pairings, so again, I'm going to choose the, the control, the dog lead, and the growth, the plant. Okay. So what he was saying when he was going in the house is, I would like to take control of the direction of my life. And again, that might imply that he was going into the house thinking, I'm a twin, but I'm going to shine as myself. Okay. So. Oh, it's so insightful. I wish we could talk about it more, but let's talk about Hazel. Okay. Now, Hazel, as we know, um, she is so focused on her career. The control of the dog lead, the growth of the, of the plant, what she was set communicating to us is the fact that she wants to stay in control. When she, you know, of her growth, her personal growth, she's so focused on presenting her image as a model. She's talked about it so much in the house. She has. She can't wait to get out. She wants to get any money. Exactly. Ka -ching, ka -ching. And her image, her image is all. Yeah. And that's what that says. And again, the journey and communication, she's paired those two. Again, it's about her putting over the right image, communicating to people what she wants them to see. Mm. And of course, tonight that was snatched away with those, what we just saw. It certainly with the was. <laughs> no wonder she's so upset by it. And finally, let's move on to Sophie. Well, Sophie, um, it was amazing. She chose Chose, all four of her pairings were exactly the same as Hazel. Oh, yeah! Now, she, she's got the plant pot, which is about growth and control, so she wants to stay in control of her personal journey. She's got, you know, again, the journey and the, the mobile, the communication, and again, that's very important to her, that she communicates herself. She wants to show, show the world what she's like. And you know what else? What? Gina had the same four pairings. What, so Those Sophie, Gina and, and Hazel. Hazel, all the same? And I've been banging on about Hazel and Gina being so similar, they're both queen, queen bees, bees, and how they reflect each other's traits, and they chose four of the same pairings. I mean, what are the odds of that? So there's and three there's queen Sophie, bees? Is Sophie that what is to a queen bee in the making. Yeah. <laughs> A young oh, queen bee, and she's so competitive. We've seen more and more of that side of her. So and much so that directed. Honeycomb. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to taste that. I'd like to see your parents. What know. would you choose? <laughs> well, I was going to say a little bit of bling, definitely, and some crayons. What does that say about me? <laughs> well, wealth and creativity. Thank so. you. You, I'll take it. Is that good? Yes. Tell me it's good. She had to say yeah. Uh, brilliant as always is Dr. Pam Spray. <laughs> Wealth and creativity, what can I say? Bling bling. Uh, so, Rylan's in the phone room waiting to take your calls. Rylan, what's your chat? Do you know what? It was literally like that. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome to Monday's phone room. Uh, let's get straight into it. Who's on the one? Yeah, Spencer from Thurrock. Oh, that's where I live. All right, Spence. Hi, Rylan. All right, what's your chat? Well, two words, both of you. I just think. It's not really for her name. She's not really pulled up to the top of the tree, does it? I just think she's really whining. She's not done herself any favours tonight, especially with uh, uh, criticising and begging the slam. OK. Yeah, and I just think, I just think she's the one to pull in. It's just nothing to her. It's just a, a, consi like a consistent noise. She's whining. Spencer. Yeah? I love you, but I didn't understand a fucking word you said. <laughs> oh. I'm, I love you and I appreciate the call, but all I can hear is. <laughs> and now you sound like you're underwater. But Spencer, I love you, and do you know what? We'll get him on maybe Friday, and we'll make sure that you're ringing from a better line. All right, Spence. Yeah, get me on Friday. Got you then, Spence. See you Friday. See you, bye. <laughs> See you later, Spence. Oh, oh, he's even hung up. Look, bless him. We love Spencer. Uh, who's on line two? Jazz from Wolverhampton. Jazz from Wolverhampton. What's your oh, chat? Hi, Hi, Jazz. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, babe. What's your chat? Right, I need to talk to you about Gina. I am so happy that the housemates know that she's real. 
and Hazel and Charlie are the real fake people. Oh, I can't tell you, Rylan, I'm so happy. Yeah, I can tell that you're happy. Rylan, just... we need to go for Starbucks and I've got to explain everything to you. Gina's my inspiration. She's my obsession. Or any other coffee chain that's commercially known. <laughs> We, oh, I, I just love Gina. She needs. She Do you needs know what? She's had such a turnaround, didn't she, Jazz? Like, yeah. you know, I think week one we all expected her to be out ASAP, and now people are talking about her winning the show. Do you I think know, she, she can win? Yeah, she's got to win. But no, oh, I can't. I, we've got to go for coffee. I've got to tell you all about it. All I've right, got babe. like posters of her around my room and everything. All right. Well, the, what you do in your private time is entirely up to you, Jazz. Oh no, no, no. Right, I'll make of it what you will. We'll make of it what we will. Listen, Jazz, thanks for your call. Bye, Rylan. Take care, mate. Bye. Ah, bye. <laughs> uh, who's on line three? We've got Elaine from Grangemouth. Oh, what lovely poetry, Elaine. Oh. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Rylan. Are you all right? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm all right, babe. What's your chat? Great. Um, well, also, I'm loving Gina, but you know that already. I mean, I just think she's fantastic, but I feel so sorry for Dexter. Tell me why. Because he tries so hard to be liked, and I just feel the housemates think, you know, that he, they kind of play on it a wee bit. That he's a bit insecure, as far as I can see. That's my opinion on it. Yeah. Um, watching yesterday's clip with Hazel and the twins and Sophie were having a go at him for, you know, wanting to nominate them. I just thought that was just awful. The whole lot of them at, at the one time, you know, all sort of ganging up and... Do you know what, Elaine? Yeah. Elaine, I think Dexter, the thing is with Dexter, when he went in, a lot of people were like, oh, don't like him, he's a bit of a snake, he's a bit of a this, he's a bit of that. Uh -huh. And then we had sort of like weeks, sort of four to like last week, mm -hmm. everyone sort of went, actually, Dexter's quite all right, he's actually quite a genuine bloke. And now I think he's just slipping back into that role that he played. But I know his friend was yeah. on the show on Saturday and she, she said he's got a three-part game plan. Maybe this is his third part to it go back. It could be, it could be. But obviously, you know, the, the, the crowd that... that but complaining about them, putting them up for an eviction yesterday. Yeah. Uh, they obviously wanted the public to feel that um, they would nominate, or they would, sorry, evict him, you know, yeah. vote to evict, but I think it's backfired on them big time. Well, do you know what? We're going to see this week, aren't we? We'll see on Friday if he's, uh, if he's still in there. Well, we'll see. We hopefully. will. Hopefully. Thanks for your call, Elaine. Thank you. Missed you. And you too. See you later, Elaine. Bye. I love Elaine. She's a love. Uh, cheers, everyone. Thank you. And remember... It's good to talk. Uh, don't go anywhere, because we're going to be taking a very close look at Sam and revealing more fallout from the nominations. Trish, catch you off this. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Big On The Side. Woo! 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 Alan, are you OK? What's up? Not, not really, babe. I've had a bit of bad news. What's happened? You know the new Doctor Who? <laughs> yeah. Peter Capaldi. You know, it's going to be Ace, isn't it? Hey, Jay, I thought it was going to be me. <laughs> I think I'd make a great Doctor Who. Like, I know how to use a sonic screwdriver and everything. Oh, it's time for an exclusive. Leave it. <laughs> she obviously can only judge from what she's seen um, in the hours, hour and night. So she obviously um, doesn't particularly like them, which is fair enough. I was shocked what she said to Hazel. I really was. Like, I was... My heart just dropped. I just thought, oh, my God. I thought, first of all, I thought, why? Why? She said, Hazel, is there something I'm missing? Um, two, she's a smart... Sophie's a very smart girl. Um, if she's saying Hazel, she must be meaning something. I don't know if she said exactly... She said a few things um, about the daily situation and this and that, but she didn't say anything in relation to me and Hazel and our friendship. So I didn't necessarily know if that was... I would have rather it had been a, related to me and Sophie nominate something was related to me rather than what she disagreed with generally. But then again, she might have held back a few things because she didn't want to upset me in here yet, um, or she might not want to throw me off my last few days, I don't know. Um, but there's obviously some reason, like, she's a very... She's an honest person and she's blunt and she's quite cutting, like... Um, in fact, she was particularly, like, bam, bam, bam just then, so I kind of my heart to sink a little bit and I felt bad for Hazel, she's furious. But I also wonder why Sophie said that, if there's any other reason. Do you know what? Before we carry on, I've just got to say, there is this lady in the audience, she's got a dress on back to front and one shoe on, and she's 85. <laughs> it's Sheila, everyone! Yeah. I love Sheila. I love Sheila. <laughs> oh, 
one dress and one shoe. That is what a box that audience is, is all about. Thing. Uh, right now, listen, as we continue our uh, look at each of the remaining housemates <laughs> individually, uh, it's time we turn our attention to Sam. Now, he's the flirty Welshman who compares himself to Del Boy from Only Falls and Horses, but has the boy one that ended up more of a fool? Uh, let's find out. Here's a look at his story so far. People are intimidated by my good looks. I'm like a car crash you can't stop staring at. I'm gonna be your traditional Big Brother housemate. You make my winky expand. Oh, what? You made what? Knock, knock. Who's there, some boy? Do better repair, man. But what's different between a Ferrari and an erection? I don't have a Ferrari. Mine. <laughs> Come on. No. Whoa. The love of Sam's life at the moment is me. Feel like a turkey and caught a butcher grinning at him on Christmas Eve. <laughs> you have got a problem with me, Sam. I have got no problem with you. I like you, I think you're nice, and you've got a problem with me. When you came to me when Callum Burvick did, you said, no, don't come talk to me. I did not say that. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I like said that. you were ungrateful, you're impolite and you're rude. You are. Q, R, X, Y... I've got never. You don't know your fucking alphabet. It didn't roll off my turn. Do you know what I think? What do you think? I think you fancy me. And I'm just like, I love Sam just from that one video. I'm like, what a love. Uh, Meryl, do you think we've seen the real Sam in the house? He's, he's so flat. Yeah. He's like, what? he reminds me, he's like somebody... Woo, what a come down <laughs> off the video. Yeah. Yeah. That was gold. <laughs> that was absolute TV he's gold. Like somebody, he's like somebody deflated Harry Styles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, where do we find them? Uh, <laughs> Nick, um, as a housemate, is he everything you expected him to be? Well... I mean, as soon as he walked in, I immediately compared him to Glyn from my year. Mm. Yes. There is a, yes. it, obviously, we've got the Welsh connection, but there is something about them too, isn't there? They yeah. are quite similar in certain ways. I mean, he's got an air of innocence about him, and I would like to see him win, because out of all of them, I think he's the one that could, like, use 100 grand better than most of them. But, I mean, From a practical point of view. From <laughs> <laughs> a practical point of view. Nikki, no, always listen. thinking about the money, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> always thinking about the money. I think he's, um... Everyone's saying that he's boring and he's not, not a worth, worthy winner. But what? look at some of them. I mean... They just... Uh, who are they, who Nikki? Who are they? <laughs> who are they? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just who the hell are they? What is boring is someone that's real boring. Can I just say, I said before with this, I said we've only got about three minutes, Nick, make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for me, isn't it? Um, you know what, is she right? You know, is Nikki right? Who's a big yeah, fan yes. of Sam? Yes. Right, right. Yes. Can I say, what Sam is teaching us is how to listen and the power of language. Yeah. And first of all, can I just say how beautiful well. your dress is and mm. what amazing oh, yes. dresses you wear. Well. I absolutely yeah. love your looks. I didn't pay her to say that. Yes. <laughs> Sam, he teaches us just how important it is to listen. And he's really, really specific yeah. about what is said. And he remembers when he says, you know, what, what words Sophie, you know, he took issue with the fact that Sophie had said at all. That really made a difference to yeah. Sam. And he's teaching us the power and the value of... He's bringing the one... Whoa! Hold the phone. He has now Callum's gone, because he always hid behind Callum. Now yeah, Callum's yeah. gone. Yeah. He's, he's come out of himself. He has, and it's too little, too late. Yeah. It's too little, too late. Yeah. Surely. Do you know what? We are going to touch. We are going to touch on um, Sam's hearing problems uh, in a minute. But Kelsey, are you surprised that he's actually made it this far? Uh, seeing as uh, everyone's saying, "Oh, he's a bit boring, he's a bit this." He is, but he's such a nice guy. Exactly. And that's the thing. <laughs> he's a nice guy. 
I don't know if he's like the worthy winner because he's not the most entertaining, but I want to give him a cuddle. He's just so cute. Do you ever use something about him? You just want to go and say, say just... something and just have a row or something. No, because no. he's just such a nice guy. Do you know what? I do, I, it's just hard with Sam because I understand what people have been saying where they're saying, you know, oh, he's been a little bit boring and stuff like that, but at the same time, He's gone in that house and he's just being himself. Yeah, That's what he does, yeah, yeah. you know? He don't always have to be gobby. True say, AJ. Take, take note of it. <laughs> take note of it. Uh, well, listen, Sam said himself that he's found it difficult to connect with the whole group because if the other housemates uh, wouldn't listen to him properly. Uh, Nick, do you think the housemates have been um, as understanding of his hearing problems as much as they could have, do you think? No, I don't. I think some of them have, but... Um, his mum, when she nominated Sophie, yeah. made a valid point yeah. that... Sophie maybe doesn't, you know... Maybe Sophie, not saying that she hasn't made an effort, because I think everyone has made a conscious effort in there, definitely, but maybe not as much as Sam maybe needs it. I think it is a touchy yeah. subject, because I, I think like it comes down to the point of people might think, I'm not going to make too much an effort, because I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I think people might forget. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, he doesn't, he doesn't wave it about all the time, so they might just forget. 100%. Well, there you go. Well, listen, Sam says he entered the Big Brother house to become a good role model for deaf people. Meryl, has he done it? Well, yes. I, th I think any time somebody who's disabled does exactly the same thing as a non-disabled person, that's a step forward. And, yeah. and I, don't actually, I don't actually particularly like him. I, I don't like the way that he would sit there with Callum scoring girls' body parts out of ten. Like, they were yeah, but he's them. such a lad, Meryl. He's a lad. 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 But, but that's part of it, though. Is, 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 is to be disliked equally is just as good a step forward as to be liked equally, you know? He's still a role True, model. So. Right, okay then. Is he a role model? Yeah. Who's yeah. saying anything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Oh, please, Flicky oh. Reeve. <laughs> please, Flicky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Represent. Right, go on. I'm a huge fan of Sam. Yeah. And I have to I have to say last night when I watched it he did stand up to um Dexter and Sam sorry Dexter and um Sophie. Yeah. I mean it's been a long time coming but he yeah. finally did it. And I think that just because um Callum's gone people think oh he's going to be shivering in the background being quiet no, and he hasn't and he's shown that he is the alpha male. He's going to speak out and he's going to stick up for himself. And I pe I think a lot of viewers will watch that and think you know what Sam's already you know yeah. a guy and yeah. what is he though? Yeah. is he a role model? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes he is. That's all I no. Uh, guys, give it up for our fantastic panel tonight. Uh, still to come, we'll be revealing all of our Sophie's secret cars. Plus, Nikki, you'll be bringing us the latest live and direct from the reality gallery. God help us. See you after the advert. Big Brother's bit on the side. Yeah, uh, welcome back. I, I'm really sorry, babe. You're going to have to uh, read this next link. Here's today's news. <laughs> So full from all that Japanese food, though. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, at 2.18 <laughs> this afternoon, Big Brother gave Sophie a not-so-secret mission. Sophie, Big Brother's got a secret mission for you. OK. Actually, Sophie, Big Brother's got six secret missions for you. If you successfully complete the majority of these missions within an hour, you will win a prize just for you to enjoy later today. You need to get Dexter to say thank you. You must secure a high five from Hazel. You need to play a game of catch with Sam. You need to get so upset that Charlie asks you what's wrong. You need to let Gina give you a makeover. And finally, you need to chatter so much that Jack and Joe tell you to shut up. OK. It is so easy. This will be done within half an hour. from Canning Town's finest there. Sophie soon headed to the garden to hit her target, but things didn't quite go as planned. Sab. Oh, no, don't know. Don't know. I was going to say, should we all play that game? Oh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't think we've got anything You're to feel. so feel. fucking bored. Um. I feel like no-one wants to talk to me. Really? Mm. Why? Don't know. It's not being silly. Everyone wants to talk to you. So then I should shut up then. Well? So I should just shut up and get on with it. That'd be sick. No, I don't think you need to. 
Cheers for that. On the you never say thanks. You never say just thank you. You always go, cheers for that. <laughs> we were already given that. Say out thank you. This morning. <laughs> say thank you. I just said cheers. Just say thank you. What have you been like that for? No, it just you never say it. <sighs> How's it going so far? No, shit, I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> I feel like everyone's got a task against me and they can't do it. It just feels a bit fake, like I can't even be bothered to do it anymore. I feel like no, everyone's Sophie, in on it. Big brother believes in you, Sophie. Oh, come on, Sophie, where's the fighting spirit? Uh, finally. <laughs> uh, 345 things got totes in Right. It is a good look. I know. I've never seen you cry before, it's a bro. No, what's wrong with me? Why are you crying? Earlier today, Big Brother set Sophie a secret mission to win herself a prize. It didn't work. But then Big they set you them as well, didn't they? Set Sophie six challenges to complete. Was it not you's as well? I thought you's was given a task as well. No. However, what Sophie didn't know was that her secret mission wasn't secret at all. I knew you's had to do it as well. I said that in the diary. I'm not doing it because I know they're doing it as well. Sophie's fellow housemates were set to the real secret mission to ensure Sophie failed all six of hers. That's why you didn't want to play the game with me. I'm really upset. Like, I'm going... Oh, oh, so oh. I don't know what's wrong with oh, me. We did it because we got told. <laughs> I'm in a really did. bad mood. Aww. Cheer up, girl, you won a prize! I mean, what a downer to finish on. Mm. Uh, but you can get the full story on tomorrow night's main show at 10 pm. And that's today's news. She won! Oh. She actually won a prize. Hi, Nikki is up in the reality gallery. Nick, what's going down? Well, <clears throat> Nick, sorry, Joe's shocked when he finds out <laughs> Sam's never seen Mary Poppins oh or The Sound life. of Music. Um, Hazel and Sophie discuss how the house gets more and more boring each week as the housemates leave. Joe tells Sam that Titanic's his favourite film and Sam agrees. Like yes. when the old lady throws the necklace in at the end, like... <laughs> Um, Joe and Hazel were talking about that she has piercing eyes. Sam yeah. then asked Joe if his eyes were piercing, and Joe replied, no. Um, wow, well, that is it really riveting, riveting stuff, yeah. though. One more quick thing. Joe here. told Hazel he's more or less blind out of one eye. And you learn something new every day. Thank you, Nikki Graham of BB7 Fame. Yes, thank babe. you. Uh, wow, that was exciting. Ian yeah. Symes. Ian uh, Symes. Uh, Sprinkles right? some yeah. excitement you onto the BBI. I got some tweets about the friends and family noms. Not everyone's happy because a lot of people don't like friends and family as a twist in general. Okay. Gun and outside influence and all that. But some people are very happy. Adam says, amazing noms, some truths were told and friendship shaken. I know. Uh, Bethan Bagent says, wow, just wow. Charlie's pal didn't hold back, did she? Great TV. Can I just say, Sophie's nan, Sophie's nan was housemate amazing. for next year, maybe? Kelly Dawson <laughs> says, Sophie's man, nan is a legend. Get her on a bit on the side. I want Let's Sophie's nan house. to be part of my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she seems to like an you, absolute To tell you that, you know, you look like... It's better to watch Pinch, right? Yeah, and we've got live streaming tonight on the yeah. website yeah. from 12 till 2. From now. Channel5.com yeah. forward slash Big Brother. Oh, Cheers well, in. thank you, Ian. That is your lot for tonight. Thanks to all of our guests. It's been great. Great. Emma is back tomorrow with Russell Grant, Andy Shepherd, and Carol Vincent of BB8 Fan. And Ryland and I will be back here on Friday with the housemate you decide to give the chop. Until give the then, chop. see you later. Bye. <laughs>